Wednesday, July 26, 2023. I fed all the street cats at 4 a.m. They were on edge and hiding when I first went down. Somebody stole or threw away one of their water bowls. I only brought 10 cans of pate and three buckets of dry food today. I could have used a few more cans of pate, so I won't bring less than 12 cans from now on. I did a podcast yesterday about a telemarketing job I had in the early 2000s. I'm only doing my podcast a few times per week now. It's better. It let's my strong audience catch up on, on shows they may have missed. One of my neighbors keeps jamming my internet, too. Every time I record a podcast or if I'm on an important phone call, and I'm pretty sure it's either the lady on the first floor who's been basically stalking me for three years, or it's the nasty 20-year-old on the second floor in the white car who's been straight up harassing me and threatening violence against me for four and a half years. The guy with the white car isn't even allowed to live here, so he skirts around that fact by coming to his parents' one-bedroom apartment every day, claiming to be a visitor, and he comes here seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You always know where that jerk will be during those hours, sitting outside my apartment building. He has done this for over six months. Apparently, he doesn't have a job and spends his days obsessing about one of his parents' neighbors, me. He feeds this addiction of hating by stalking me and my daily post online, including this one. There are only two reasons for him to come here every single day and do this. He either has nowhere else to go and he's not clever enough to go anywhere else, not even for a day or an hour. It's either that or he's here for me. He's here to yell obscenities toward my closed apartment windows, rev his car engine in the parking lot, or jam my internet 25 plus times per day, trying to interrupt a stranger minding his own business, doing his own thing in his own apartment. This kid, his parents never taught him anything about manners or boundaries. They raised a menace. Menacing is one of the only things this 20-year-old kid seems to be capable of. The textbook definition would be him standing in front of my security cameras making threatening hand gestures. In the end, there is no route for victory for him. This deranged little fella has nothing going for him, and this isn't going to work for him either. He doesn't even live here. These are simple one-bedroom apartments. This is not a soap opera, and me and him have nothing to do with each other, no matter how hard he forces it. <clears throat> this is not a co-op. This is not community living. And he's been able to keep this up for six-plus months, this routine. I guess his parents make his car payments, too. Sometimes I'll see his mom walking to work at 4 or 5 a.m. You'd think the guy would be at least kind enough to give his mom a ride to work. My name is Gregory Brandt, a.k.a. Mr. G. For me and my street kitties, we bid you aloha. And one day, I won't have a, uh, this person outside my apartment. Hopefully soon. Thanks for listening, guys.